Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Bree. And today we're going to do a mukbang at the Wildcat Den. I'm Megan. I'm a junior at Northern, majoring in PR and minoring in marketing. I'm Bree. I'm a senior here at NMU, and I'm a marketing major with a double minor in communication studies and graphic design. And today, we're going to try the five most popular dishes at the Wildcat Den, um, which is one of the two cafeterias here on campus. Um, the first thing we're going to try is the New York style pizza. Um, so yeah, we cheers. <laughs> I feel like, for me, something that I didn't really know until I got off campus was like the music scene in Marquette. And they do a lot of live bands, and especially with COVID, those kind of got postponed. Though the music scene is crazy, and there's so many different types too. You can go down to like the Ordock and listen to acoustics, or you can go to Diggs and listen to people like rock out. It's really fun. I don't know. That's like my favorite like hidden treasure of NMU. Mmm, hockey. The atmosphere is just so much fun. So when I came to NMU, I had never been to a hockey game before. I never, like our school didn't have a hockey team, so I never went. And I went and everyone was yelling so loud. Everyone was so aggressive. I was like, okay, okay, this is what we're doing. There was like little kids with like this foam fingers and stuff. It was crazy. I was like, okay, Civ. Like, I don't know what that means, but let's go. <laughs> but for me, my favorite thing is definitely basketball games. Because I don't know, I, I played basketball growing up and the teams are very like, personable like you can see their personalities when they're like interacting with each other on the court which I think adds like so much fun because they don't have like a helmet or anything like shielding their face yeah but hockey's more aggressive yeah <laughs> <laughs> to each their own <laughs> um on campus is nice because everything is right there for yeah. you but off campus just gives you more freedom I think yeah on campus is definitely like a luxury in the winter time like yeah they plow for you everything's like right there and centralized like if there's a snowstorm you don't have to go to the grocery store to get like food like you're not worried you just go to down to the dining hall so that's super nice and the mm -hmm. woods they're um they're very nice and so are quad too like it's just like a sense of community so it's never like a bad place to be like if you're stuck inside for a little bit like it's not really it doesn't really feel like stuck but I don't know I'm pretty independent too so like living on campus has been fun I feel like yeah you get a little bit more flexibility with like decorations and how you like like you can get a pet like that's super fun all my friends have dogs now so that's a yes. little bit different yeah I agree this is my first year living off campus so we'll see how it how goes. is it going <laughs> how's it going Megan it's going good going good <laughs> <laughs> okay the next thing that we're gonna try are the whitefish superior like tacos they're fr like straight from like superior which is kind of epic uh, Megan doesn't like white fish, so this is gonna be kind of I don't fun. like any fish. <laughs> Megan doesn't like any fish. <laughs> so yeah, wait, put some ranch on it. Don't be shy, put some ranch on it. She put ranch on the chip, bro. Um, the moment of truth, she's conquering her biggest fear. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, that was mostly tortilla, but I know. it's okay. I, on the other hand, love white fish, so. Oh, that's spicy. Why is it spicy? There's just nothing spicy about this taco. Okay, I think... I think it's gonna grow. I really do. Because with the new dorms that they've just built, like you can see them, those are full. And Marquette itself is like... A popping community. It's bussing, yeah, it's crazy. It's like growing exponentially. And it, like Marquette is a beautiful place to be. I think more people are noticing that. So with more people comes more innovation, which will be sick. It'll be really good for the university. Mm -hmm. I know that like in the five year plan, there is definitely like plans to move the College of Business into their own building and the Jacob Eddy's getting revamped. And it's, I just think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I think it'll be pretty- Improvement. Yeah, they're pretty good at like, keeping like cutting edge technology and like buildings and things like that. Oh, in 10 years, I definitely think that a lot more of our buildings will be LEED certified. Um, so if you don't know what LEED certified is, Jamrich is the building in, in the campus that's LEED certified right now. It basically just means it's very environmentally friendly. Um, and so you can have different levels of the LEED certification. And I think we're at the silver. And I think that, that in good? the next 10 years, what's that? Is that good? <laughs> yeah, it's good. I think in the next 10 years, we'll definitely get most of our buildings to that certification. Which will be beautiful. I mean, I'm gonna lie to this taco's good. 
What? It's good. This dog is busting. Mm. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> okay. This ranch is freaking amazing. Oh Yo, my gosh. It's really not that bad. Oh. I feel like if you're from the Midwest, it's, it's not, not that big of a stretch. If you're not from the Midwest, it might be a stretch. It might be a stretch. <laughs> But I think it's kind of fun though. I think that the snow is something that bonds people as like part of the community. Like it's just part of what you have to do in your day to day life. You can life. go skiing, snowboarding. Skiing. If you don't have two wheel drive or four wheel drive, it's really fun to meet people Get in the parking lot. Four wheel drive. Or, yeah, but you can meet people in the parking lot to come tow you out and then maybe you'll be friends, you know? So there's good to come of it. Yeah. <laughs> do we try the mac and cheese? Should we try the mac and cheese? Okay. Yeah. Um, in the hikes in the summer, they're like a whole different thing than when you hike in the winter. So like. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like different. exploring a whole other market. I feel like. Yeah. It doesn't even look the same. Mm -hmm. And even like, so when it's super snowy and super cold and you don't want to be outside, there are so many things to do inside too. So like hockey's during the winter season. Oh so God. Friday, Saturday nights, you already got your plans. Um, and then beyond that, I mean like they do IM sports inside. Like we do this thing. It's have you ever played this? It's indoor battleship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do this thing. It's like indoor battleship, and they have like people in like boats. What are they? Like canoes? 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 Yeah, yeah, like canoes, and you try to like flip each other over in the pool and stuff. Oh, it's so, fun. Yeah, there are things to do even in like even when even if you're not a snow person. You're, there's you definitely. Try that. On a scale from one to thirteen, I think the magnitude is probably at an eleven. Like I couldn't make this at home. So wait, what about the pizza? On a scale from one to thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> You get to explore more. I would have never have gotten these opportunities if I didn't come in the UP. Yeah, I would agree. Like, I remember a town that's like farm country, and so everything is just very flat, and there's not too much to do. So when I came to NMU, I was like, whoa, I gotta try everything. And don't rush everything. Like, you don't have there's to do everything your do. freshman year. Yeah, you don't have to do everything your freshman year, but <clears throat> there is so much to do on campus and off. Like. It's interesting, like you know the students at NMU that are involved on campus are involved in more than one thing. Like everybody wears like kind of more than one hat. And that's awesome if you love to stay busy. But also there, there's a whole different group of people that just like to hang out and like ski on the weekends or just chill and go hiking, go hammocking. So even whether you're like a super fast paced student or a super like chill paced student, there's- Northern's for you. Sugarloaf is fun just cause it's kind of easy and laid back. Yeah, Sugarloaf so if you don't wanna like, go on like a really long one, it's classic, it's classic. But I think like my favorite by far is this place, it's called the Songbird Trail. And it's by Wetmore, which is like a beach, but it's also like a forest, so you have to go through the forest before you can get to the beach. Um, and it takes you all the way back to like a spot where like not too many people are at. So it's super nice if you're trying to have like a picnic, or if you're trying to watch the sunrise, or see the northern lights, or anything like that. I just feel like that beach is super like versatile. 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 I don't know. <laughs> so Megan thought the, the tacos were hot. So we're gonna try the Nashville hot sandwich. Now fries are good though. No. <laughs> Megan said to the fries. You, we gotta try it together. And ranch. We gotta the three, two, one, try it together. You think? Yeah, mm -hmm. we can do it. But you actually have to bite into it. I will. Should we cheers? <laughs> Girl, you have a plate. <laughs> Use it. No, we're not gonna put it in. Oh! <laughs> Bussin. We should have gotten water. Megan's not okay. Do you want to grab water? Yeah, I'll grab you should get us water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid to try new things. Yeah. Like the chicken sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and fish. Yeah, I would say, yeah, say your freshman year, say yes more than you normally would. Um, mm -hmm. I'll I just open you up to opportunities. Absolutely, and you'll meet all these kinds of people. And you'll do all these crazy us? things. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um, but So my freshman year, that's really good advice, actually. My freshman year, like, Thank you. we, I lived in this hall. If you don't know, like, your every floor is called a hall. And, like, each hall has a different RA and a different personality. So um, my hall was called Venture Hall. And we just oh, went. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it was Aww. super fun. Um, we just, every weekend, we would just, like, go do something outside. And my first weekend, I remember I said no. I was like, mm, that's lame. Um, it totally wasn't. My RA was super cool. And I missed the first bonfire. Um, but every week after that, 
I said yes and I saw these crazy cool ice caves and we went camping on top of the world which is just this beautiful place with an awesome view of like the stars and Marquette and like everything that's pretty. Um, so I- I love Marquette, it's pretty. Well, yeah, it doesn't really have a bad angle, but yeah, it was just one of those things where I was like, man, I wish I would have said yes earlier on. Join clubs. Yeah, get involved. I there, regret not doing that. Yeah, and there are literal, like, if you're a numbers person, there are literal, like, studies that have proven like more involved you are on campus the better you'll do because you have this sense of community and you know who you need to talk thank to thank you <laughs> why do you need help i'm on my second shoot. cheers again <laughs> oh shoot hiking yeah it seems I was basic but it's fun no yeah you and like hiking comes with like different duos like you can hike and get like picnic or you can like hike in hammock you can hike and swim you can hike in sunset yeah, yeah. <laughs> those that's my favorite thing to do is to go hike in sunset somewhere and you find your favorite places um so i live about seven hours away that's pretty standard for people that come to nmu <laughs> it's really nice too because since everybody's like driving the same amount of time like oh uh, like almost always when i'm driving home for breaks i'll be behind somebody that's like from nmu and it's just cute um but i would i would say I go home christmas thanksgiving and then spring break I usually go somewhere and then usually like one or two times throughout the year just for miscellaneous things. Yeah, I live three and a half hours away so definitely an easier drive. I go home for like holiday breaks and spring break but then usually only once throughout the year. So it kind of just depends on what you're doing on campus. There's noodles! So what we have here is my personal favorite. It's the Italian chopped salad. I don't know if it's seasonal or what, but look at this baby. I will put it in the frame. Ooh. The Italian chopped salad. I love lettuce. Yeah, she's a big lettuce gal. So what has in it is lettuce, noodles, pepperoni, mushrooms. Pepperoni? Yeah, dude. I thought that was tomato. Pepperoni. And little cheese cubes. Feta. Yeah, feta cheese. But you want some ranch for it? I'm excited for campus to open back up. <laughs> yeah, I think that, I think overall the university navigated it really well. It was super awesome to be able to still do like hybrid classes throughout the fall. I know there are quite a few people that like came up to NMU because you could still do online and in person. Um, just depended on your department, depending on your professor. I think they did well, I think as well as like you could do. Um, but on top of that, like, transitioning they're very quick to transition yeah and so i'm super excited for people that's my thing i love people so and I'm events excited. yeah to see everybody out and about it's gonna be a good atmosphere everybody has a very strong sense of community and that like instills a, a sense of responsibility so like everybody knows what they have to do in the fall to make sure that we still stay in person and i'm just very hopeful you learn to grow independent no matter how far away you're coming from I think, um, I think for me, I really like learned how to just have confidence in myself, and that's so cliche, but like, I found myself with opportunities, and I'm like, oh, I'm not qualified for that, and then things would just happen, and I was like, oh, I totally can do that, you know, and so it's just all the experience that you get from whether it's in class or out of class, just a collection of like perspectives and experiences. Um, that you've learned within your major, like kind of instill a sense of confidence in yourself, which I think is super cool. And it's not something I realized until maybe like my third year, my junior year, I was like, oh, no, I can do that. Instead of being like, oh, you should find somebody else, you know? Yeah, that's what it feels like things. home. Yeah, and it's like, it's small enough so that you can still see everybody that you want to see on a day to day, but like large enough that you don't see everybody every time, which is a good, a pretty good like balance. Um, also, it's small enough to where people get to know you if you start doing great work. So if you're really good in your perspective major, your professors will notice that. And it's always just really nice to get recognized for those kind of things. Which will also help in the community. Like yeah. Yeah, everything kind of ties back. So like people that are super involved in the community know people that are super involved in NMU because they kind of go hand in hand. Um, so yeah, it's just like a, it's a big town, but small town feel, I would say. What's that? Um, like pavilion by the art building. 
the Water of Pavilion, the hidden That's gem. That's a good one. Yeah, the Water of Pavilion is good. It, like, has literally a view of Lake Superior and the dome, and you're still on campus, so kind of the best of both worlds. I would say if you're someone that studies in, like, really quiet places, it's not really underrated, but it's still a really good place, but um, the atrium in West Science, or Weston Hall, is so good, and it has all these cute little plants growing down, it has little sun lamps, it's just a fun place to be, especially if you just have, like, maybe 20 minutes in between classes and you just want to get something done, like, that's the perfect place. The lodge is also really good. That's fast. Um, you don't have to live in the dorms to go... It. And it's 24 hours. It's 24, yeah, it's 24 hours open yeah. for anybody. So if you're like trying to study and the library is closed, you can go there. Go to the lodge. Go to the lodge. Okay, since we're on the topic of food, there's like, what, seven? Seven different places you can eat around campus? Um, yeah. So there's a den. That's where we're eating right now. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's like a beat ups. Yeah, like you go in and you order your food and then they, and then they bring it out too. They got games? Like, yeah. They got games. They got games on their phone. So and they if have, you're like, old enough, they have beer. They have beer. <laughs> and root beer floats. Should we cheers these, Kenzie? Okay, well, these are the root beer floats. Megan's con, con, what is it? Conquering all of her greatest fears today. I don't she like doesn't cream. like ice cream because, well. Um, <laughs> I have no reason. But we're going to try these. Ew, look at all these ranches. Did you just say ew? <laughs> yes. Okay, um, I know I'm not the only one who loves ranch. <laughs> okay? Make it said comment down below if you love ranch. <laughs> so, like I was saying, there's like seven different places you can eat on campus. Um, and so the den is really good if you have time and you want to sit down. It's a good place to hang out because mm -hmm. of the games. Because they have food. They got Starbucks. Starbucks, darts, like big screen TVs. What else, like, what else would you want? It's a cool, like, after five or six. You don't need anything six. more. You no, know, you don't. You, you really can don't. come here and study. <laughs> you get food. Yeah. Oh, my God. Another study spot. The dead. <laughs> what a thunk. <laughs> but on top of that, you can go to the Northern Lights signing, which is, like, buffet style. So it's, like, like, the basic dining hall. Yeah. So you go in and you, there's, like, there's 12 different stations, and you can choose anything, and you can choose as much of anything as you want. No one's going to tell you no, which is kind of dangerous. And swipes a day. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> there's two different Starbucks on campus. One's a Starbucks cafe, so they just serve, serve Starbucks coffee, and then another one is, like, an actual branch of Starbucks. So you can go there. Um, there's a place called Sunday. You can get, like, gluten-free, allergen-friendly snacks. Um, there's usually, like, a lot healthier alternative options to really popular snacks. And then on Across from that is Fieras. Fieras is good. Mexican food. Yeah, it's a Latin inspired eatery with tacos, nachos, burritos, all the good stuff. So Fieras is good. There's Cat Tracks. Cat Tracks is open till like 2 a.m., 1 a.m. every day. It's great. Yeah. It's like a gas station without the gas. Yeah. It's legit. Like anything you can get at a gas station, Actually, you can get at Cat yeah. Tracks. Yeah. You can get like all the foods like like Takis or if you want some ramen or anything like that you can get from Cat Tracks. But then you can also get like Windex and like Kleenex and cleaning like supplies. Cleaning supplies, some Tylenol, any of that. You can get some flour if you want to do some baking. They there's flour. flour in there. <laughs> yeah, there's flour. Nice. So which is a really good mix. Yeah. Okay, so there's this place. <laughs> and it is like right in front of our like athletic so complex. Right by a smoothie king. They don't know where Smoothie King is. Right. It's right by the athletic complex. And so basically, it's a Smoothie King attached to a Tamaki and tea. And Tamaki and tea is like Asian inspired cuisine, and Smoothie King's just, you know, the smoothies. And you can get, this is also included in your dining plan. You can get sushi, you can get like General's chicken, you can get like some, some noodles, some soup. And then you can also get like a frozen strawberry smoothie. Like <laughs> the best of both worlds. <laughs> is that not good? I think wow. that's so great take this one away okay okay so when you're going to the dining hall like the northern lights is like you can go in and do whatever you want they have all the food you just grab it and so there are like things that i've learned from other people on like how to like make your own stuff so you can totally make something like this like a root beer float you can just go to the ice cream machine and then go to the pop machine and you can make whatever kind of float you want um but then on top of that i learned this from an old roommate um you can go and get ice cream and then put cereal on top of it too so like the best combo hands down is frosted flakes did you know this 
No. No, you're learning today. The best combo, without a doubt, 13 out of 10, like... 13. 13 <laughs> out of 10 is Frosted Flakes and Vanilla Ice Cream. Like, sheesh. Like, that's what Only if you good. like ice cream. Yeah, I fit. But, so 99%. What you gonna do? You could try with yogurt. I don't know. Do you like yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you can go and ask for, like, a burger without a bun. Yeah. Like, you don't have to just grab whatever... Mm. is served you can have special requests yeah and then if you're like super concerned about like your food preferences you can always get your like card program to go into i think it's called the robin snook and it's the allergen friendly section which means there's just no cross contamination you have to have like a key to get into it so that's an option too if you're thinking about like your dietary restrictions my favorite thing has been the professors because they actually like take the time to meet with you and they want you to be successful. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think like tying into that, my favorite thing about NMU is the sense of community, um, which ties back into the people, like people actually yeah. caring about how well you do and asking like what they can do to get you to where you want to go. Um, I don't think I've ever been someplace that's so supportive, even if they yeah, don't everyone's like... everyone's more than willing to help. Like, yeah, like, everyone's super supportive. It's very much so like in it together kind of feeling. And it's very, it's very calming because like a lot of us come from far away, like seven hours, four hours, somewhere in between there. Yeah. And it's just nice that like to know that your home away from home really is surrounded by people that want you to do your absolute best. So. What? Ow! I've never been because I don't like sushi. <laughs> they have more than sushi. <laughs> Say ranch. Like a lot of ranch. Say it's for my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. thank Can we get a lot of ranch too? Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Girl, don't eat it yet. Oh, that was so good. Okay.